Ben Roberts and I'm a producer. We're at The Mill, which is a creative co-working space based in the CBD. And yeah, it's been operating for about two years now. We've got uh, the gallery space out there, which uh, holds regular exhibitions and the locked offices for artists who do more uh, digital or um, kind of book focused stuff. It's just great because it means that you can uh, kind of keep everything in house. So, uh, you know, the poster for Deluge was done by Shay Chorley, one of the photographers um, just out the back. And yeah, you always feel like there's a really great community around you to help out on whatever project you're working on, which is great. So we've got quite a large team. I think last time I counted we're at 21. <laughs> but the really great thing about having such a large team is that uh, you're able to go through and we've kind of realized that out of the 21, 20 of them are all Adelaide based and a majority of them are all emerging. That's really quite an overwhelmingly exciting thing to, to be part of. My name is Tim Watts uh, and I'm the associate producer uh, for Deluge by Tiny Bricks in the Adelaide Festival 2016. So this is our first sort of team effort. My role as associate producer is basically to back up Ben in his role as the creative producer. I think there's a really strong future for Deluge and for Tiny Bricks, a production company. There's a lot of very uh, talented people involved in the work and in developing it. Uh, it's been in development for quite a few years already. Uh, so Deluge will be staged at Plant One in Bowdoin, uh, which is this amazing, huge, vacant warehouse uh, space. So when we were developing the show and we were venue scouting earlier in the year, we looked at lots of really interesting warehousey type non-conventional theatre spaces. So we have Nisha Jelk, who is the Associate Director at State Theatre at the moment. This is her first piece working uh, outside of State Theatre. She's also paired up with Phil Kavanagh, who's the playwright of the piece. My name's Nisha Jelk and I'm a theatre director and the director of Deluge. As it happened, when I started working at State Theatre Company, Geordie came to me and said, look, I'd like to commission Phil to do our next education show. And it was at that point that Phil invited me on to start working on the creative development for what has become Deluge. We were interested in how technology has influenced our own generation's relationship with information. And also we're interested in how different generations have different relationships with that. I suppose what we wanted is, is the shared kind of acknowledgement of this is the world that we live in today, that we are asked to exist in this way a lot. Phil and I, we always view our work as a question that isn't, and no answers, not an answer, but just a question that we want to, or a conversation that we want to pose with the audience. And so, yeah, I view art as a really great way of starting conversation or just starting to think about particular ideas or, asking people to come up with their own thinking around different topics and themes. So in that way, it can be transformative, I believe. Tiny Bricks is the creative partnership between Phil and myself, and we're doing a show in partnership with Brink Productions. This is huge for us doing a show in the festival, and we're a brand new company, independent company full of young people. So we had two two-week creative developments, and we went into the room knowing that we wanted to look at information overload, as if you are at your house working on your laptop, and the TV's on in the background, and your phone goes off and you get a message, and then someone Facebook messages you, and then you have a housemate that walks into the room and tries to have a conversation with you, um, which kind of happens a lot in these days, you kind of having all this multiple stimuli, stimuli. Phil is a playwright that really anchors his work in ideas before he even starts writing a play. His first question is, what are the ideas that I'm interested in? What's the idea that I want to interrogate? But also Phil's writing is very darkly comic, but he's also incredibly intelligent, but not in a way that is in any way pretentious or looks down on its audience. So yeah, in this project we've been very lucky with the huge amount of support that we've received, both through crowdfunding and private philanthropy as well. Both can be quite hard in Adelaide, but we've yeah been a little bit blown away actually by um, the amount of people who've believed in the in the concept and in the amazing team of people that have come together for this show. So I suppose we're you know every show is only as good as the support that it receives, and I think this is going to be a cracker because we've got some really really great support from a whole range of different people. So yeah, huge credit to the Adelaide theatre industry, which is really like a big family, I think. It's really wonderful to work here.